everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is so exciting because this is a collab with my sister Hillary she just made a YouTube channel it is called coffee and beauty and I'm so excited I've been trying to get her to make this YouTube channel for years because she is a makeup addict just like me and she's really good at makeup and I just, I just think it's a great hobby for her to do since she is a stay-at-home mom so I am so happy to be collabing with her so today's video we are both doing a monthly favorites now you know i usually post these favorites every month that's why it's called a monthly favorites and i gather up things that i have been using so much over the month it's coffee everyday items just a lot of random stuff tv shows all that but i am so happy to be, to be collabing with her i will leave her channel link down below and you can watch her video her video is posted at the same time as this which is 10 a.m today on sunday so click the link down below to check out her channel and her video so i have a bunch of random things the first things that i will start with is makeup so the first favorite that i've been loving is my becca bronzer and champagne pop I am so happy to have this back in my life. You guys don't understand. Ugh, I forgot how amazing this highlighter is. I don't have much use of it, but I am wearing it today. It's just the simplest champagne highlighter that works very well on my skin. Becca is going out of business soon, so that's a lot of S's. So if you want to pick up something, I recommend you pick up something now before September because they are closing in September. The other Becca product that I have been loving is the Becca bronzer and this one is in Capri Coast. This is the perfect bronzer right now. I just, it's so like light but it also has like a warm tint to it that I can wear when I'm pale or tanner and I just really love this. I've been using this for eyeshadow as well. It's just so beautiful. The next makeup favorite is my Tower 28 Lip Jelly and this is in Cashew. I I love this. I wear this every chance I get. I, I did roll this into my project pan so I don't want to show all of my progress but I highly recommend these lip glosses. If you guys are looking in to trying lip glosses, this lip gloss is not goopy. It's not sticky at all. It's perfect. It's so great to wear. And yeah, I just highly recommend this brand, Tower 28. So I did not want to talk all about makeup because most of my videos on this channel are makeup. So the next category is just body and everything else. The main thing that I wanted to share with you guys today is the Vaseline Coco Radiant Jelly. I have been using this so much. I did not think that I would like this. I used to get them in the little containers that were like this big, but they didn't have them. So I picked this one out and I love this. I use this every day when I get out of the shower, before I go to bed. And I also like to use this after tanning. It just my skin just soaks this lotion up so good and it makes my skin so soft and it's it's just really great and i highly recommend you guys get this lotion it's honestly the best lotion that i found this year so love it so the next things are cups if you guys watch my vlogs which i hope you do i try to post a vlog every week i've been obsessed with finding tumblers because of COVID and seeing how gross people really are, I've realized that I don't like being around people in public because they're so gross and dirty. So with that, <laughs> I have opted into finding tumblers. These are the two tumblers that I have been loving. This is an old tumbler. Well, I don't think it's old. I bought it about a month ago and I love it. It's the new Yeti 32 ounce tumbler and I just have ice water in it that I put in this morning and it's still so cold. This is so good. I love Yeti so much. Yeti is the best brand for tumblers and coolers. I swear by yeti i actually bought my sister a yeti coffee tumbler a few years ago for christmas i know she loves it the next one is the newest addition to my collection this is i think it was the 2019 or 2020 starbucks tumbler collection i don't know for sure but this is just a matte black starbucks tumbler i could not find this anywhere for the life of me they have been sold out for a whole year and i could not find them until recently, I just bought it off of Etsy, way overpriced. I'm talking like 
$25 overpriced. I don't want to hear it. But then, two weeks later after I bought this, this little, these tumblers showed up in my small Starbucks coffee shop. So I'm kind of annoyed about that, but I'm very happy that I purchased this. I love this and it's just so beautiful. Next is other kitchen random stuff. So I bought this pack of metal straws from Meyer. I don't know if you guys have a Meyer near you, but if you do, I bought these amazing metal straws. They have different colored silicone tops, which is great because my teeth are so sensitive. I cannot drink from just pure metal. It hurts my teeth. And what's great about these is that these are, I'm pretty sure they're like 32 ounce. They fit my 32 ounce tumblers and they're really nice. I love them and I have one in my car that I take with me everywhere. Really great, good for the environment and it just makes you feel better knowing that you have something that is yours and that you know you've cleaned and all that so you don't have to share with people. So for food I items, I have been getting into smoothies because I am going trying to get back into fitness and try to get a little healthier. You know, COVID just put a halt to everything. And one of the things that I've been making lately are acai bowls. And I can't do it without this powder. And this is the Sun Food Organic Acai Bowl Mix. I bought this at my local Walmart, so I'm pretty sure you can pick this up anywhere. And you just put two scoops of this in your blender with frozen fruit and everything else. And it makes your acai bowl. So this is the powder that makes it the purple smoothie stuff. The last coffee item that I've been obsessed with lately, seen in my vlogs, are the Green Mountain Classic Black Coffee. And this is the one that you just brew over ice. It is so good, but it is very strong. Like, she is strong. You can, I mean, if you like black coffee, I like black coffee, but for some reason I can't drink it right now. I've become too dependent on creamers again, so I'm trying. I need, a, I need to. This is really great. Also, they're K-Cups, so you just pop it in your Keurig. Or if you don't have a Keurig, obviously you can just take the, take the grounds out and put it in your reusable thing. Either way works, and you just put your ice in your cup and fill it up to eight ounces. I do six ounces just because I'm trying to lower my caffeine intake. And then add your milk and creamer and you're all set. This is great, I highly recommend this and I'm so glad I picked this up. So the last kitchen item that I have been loving lately is the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I have been using this for about two months now and I really do like this. I'm going to pick up a new one. I have half a scoop left so I need to pick up a new one. This is just collagen that we need. This helps your skin, hair, and nail, and joint support. It's unflavored. It's great to put into any of your drinks. I put this in my coffee because you can't taste it. And it just mixes and it's all good. Things I like about this is that I do see a difference with my hair growing and my nails growing and my skin being better when I consistently take this. What I mean by that is that <laughs> lately I haven't been consistent in having it every day in my coffee. It's just like another step that sometimes I forget about it and go a few days without it. But when I'm on a streak of like two weeks in a row, a month in a row, I can really see the difference and I really do like this. So Vital Proteins, please sponsor me. <laughs> but yeah, I really like that really like it and yeah okay the next category is books okay you guys know you know i'm getting back on my book reading i'm getting back to it if you didn't know i have a goodreads account i am trying to read one book a month i'm i'm doing good because i almost have two books in may finished just to get myself back into doing some hobbies that i love to do and right now i am reading a court of thorns and roses i'm reading that whole series and i'm also reading the bridgerton series but i'm going back and forth i just posted my a court of thorns and roses book review i will link it up above and right now i'm reading book two which is a court of mist and fury so good i have not felt this great about a book series since twilight <laughs> you guys yes since twilight it's it's crazy um so i'm really loving that series and also i'm liking bridgerton i'm hoping the next few books are going to be great because i will be reading about the other siblings and hopefully the netflix series comes out soon so as soon as i finish the second book the new season will come out and that will be 
perfect. <laughs> My lighting is just too much right now, but yeah. So I'm really obsessed with that right now. Leave me a comment down below if you have any historical romance books or any kind of romance books that you recommend. I would love to know that so I can add it to my list. So for Netflix and Hulu shows, for Netflix, I've been finishing the TV show Rain. It's a historical romance TV show. It's really good. It's kind of slow, but after like the middle of season two, it gets really good. Love Outlander. I think I'm going to restart Outlander because there is a new season. And I just need some more Scotsman love in my life. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Um, I just love romance and I love reading about it and I love watching it so I'm just in the romance mood right now you know <laughs> so I think that's all for this video I hope I didn't talk your guys' ears off <laughs> I probably did like I always do these monthly favorite videos are my favorite because I can just talk about all the random stuff that I've been talking about all month and put it into one big video for you guys um I hope you watched it all the way through if you did you're awesome and I love you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe down below and don't forget to check out my sister's channel. I am so proud of her for finally starting her YouTube channel and yeah, go show her some love. I will see you guys in my next video.